Hi all, Alex here of the Mad Cartographer and welcome to episode number 7 of What A Mad Week. This is our weekly update um, where we do a video of what we've been making, what we've been up to. Um, I'm using my headset because this goddamn mic is just giving me shit and this is the fourth time I've recorded this video because I keep trying to fix the audio thinking I've done it, finding out halfway through the video that no Alex you were wrong, you have not fixed it so screw it, we're going with the headset, sound quality is nowhere near as good but it is what it is and at least you can hear me it kept breaking up, that uh, that was far worse so we didn't do one last week because I've been doing this map this is the House of Lament from Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft this map has stressed me out no end uh, I've been doing it for two weeks I've hated doing it um, I've loved it, I like the final result but I've hated it, I hate spending this much time on a map even though this is six maps because um, it's the same place, it's the same thing it just feels like an endless slog however very happy with how it's come out in the end I'm going to give you guys a bit of a whistle stop tour I'm not going to go through it all uh, this bit of a showcase in foundry um, this map uh, the the set of maps uh, is for the official adventure the house of lament from van Richten's. Um and so we've been following another map we've been following other descriptions this isn't the same scale as the one in the book um, the bottom two floors are, which is uh, floors 27 to 30 and floors 31. They are to scale, which is um, pretty big. The rest of the house is half scale from what is in the official adventure. Two reasons. First of all, it's massive. It would be like really, really big. You know, it'd be nearly 40 by 40 um, map sizes, and then doing six of them. So there was just no way that was ever going to happen. Um, and what I was finding when I started looking at trying to do it to scale um, is that the rooms were so big and so empty that it was just going to take forever to fill them up. So, scaled the house down um, and it kind of fits into more, I think it's a more realistic size um, and also it's a little bit more like a death house um, for those that are familiar with that particular dungeon from that particular setting um, so that's one of the reasons I haven't changed things around the main reason though is because I didn't realize initially from the book that it was five feet to an inch uh, to one square uh, it's it sorry I didn't realize that it was designed at 10 feet to a square so I saw it some of the icons on the map um, such as this table this seance table it filled a full square on the map so for me it was like, okay, yeah, a large five foot table. Uh, the chimney breasts, they filled a square. Yep, five foot wide chimney. Um, so that's kind of like the illusion of what it was supposed to be. And I was wrong. Then I noticed way too far into creating these first few maps that it was 10 foot. So the icons were just off. Like, there's no way that you're going to have a seance table that is a, a 10 foot wide table ludicrous um, so the design of the, the initial map threw me quite a lot there's no descriptions uh, in the books as to some of these rooms being like really really big um, and it just didn't make sense for other rooms for them to be so big so anyway we've done it to our scale uh, and I think it works um, depending on how big your pog tokens are it might feel a little bit cramped um, but I think to scale it works quite well so I'm gonna give you a little little demo running around let's reset the vision on uh, on this one uh, and you can see here that I've, there's no lights in in the um, uh, in the dungeon at all in the house as per the descriptions but I've put them all in where we've got these little uh, oil lamps in case any mages or anything want to start lighting up lamps as they go um, so yeah it's you know like i said to scale I, I think it feels right you know um albeit the, the the corridors were supposed to be um five foot wide um but yeah i'm i'm happy i'm happy with uh with what we landed on uh doing it like this um i think it's a cool little uh 
cool little place. Got a bit of canopy here. Go under the uh, the moose's head. Um, sounds ambience wise, I didn't know what to do for it, so I've just got this this kind of like dreaded tone that's built into the foundry um, map. Um, just this kind of ominous sound over and over and over again. You can remove it if you've got music that you want to play over the top of it. And that also works. Uh, I will say for people playing on Foundry, there is a weird glitch here. This here, I don't know why. Sometimes Foundry just does something weird and there's no amount of changing these walls around, redrawing them, that is changing that. Um, it's just got this weird clipping thing uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, um, this is 31 rooms or areas uh, across six different levels across uh, six different maps. I would recommend using Trigger Happy to teleport your players to a different area um, once they've got there. And we've just got lots of new assets, um, lots of cool stuff. Obviously, reuse stuff where we can. Um, but it's it's an interesting adventure. The descriptions are really bad. There's there's like certain things like the the sitting rooms downstairs it says there's three sitting rooms you know put in whatever you want there's three bedrooms put in whatever you want and it's just like i don't know just lazy lazy writing i didn't i didn't really uh, i didn't really like it um but yeah so again all built into foundry um got this floor got everything already revealed here got some tweaks I need to do. I need to push through another update. I now realised. Um, but uh, I will I will do that over the next few days. Uh, but anyway. Uh, this thing here, we've got... Um, we've got... Um, there's another glitched wall here as well for some reason. Nothing you can do about it. Um, we've got a canopy here. There's a canopy here for this tower. Players will not be able to reveal it by going over it. But if the players come up the tower... Uh, and then they're inside it, then this canopy will disappear, so they'll be inside. They won't be able to get out. So I just made sure that I put uh, an invisible wall around here so that any players trying to do shenanigans won't be able to accidentally reveal it. Um, and so from here, from the kitchen area, you would go down, which leads you into the cellar. There's this bat that's broken open. It goes into here. And this is just this is because it's all uh, revealed should be like. But this is a secret door here. Leads into here. And leads beneath the house. Which is the final area. Yeah, you know, I've not put any swirly stuff on that. Maybe I should put some swirls on it. And update. Yeah. I'm seeing a few things that I'm gonna update for the foundry now that I'm seeing them. Um so with this map, because it's been released, uh, this map set, I suppose, um, it's available to the Essentials Bundle and the Other Things tier. Um, however, there's going to be a free version um, with grids and watermarks on it for the full thing because it's Wizards of the Coast, so I'll, I have to release their stuff as uh, under the fan content policy, which means I can't paywall it. Um, so there's going to be a free version, it's going to have my watermark on it so that it isn't um, st stolen. Um, and uh, so the ungridded, unwatermarked version is going to be available through Patreon. Um, for those patrons that see this video, because this is like at the end of the month, this is like right before um, the subscription churn tomorrow. This is the 31st that we're putting this out. If you only see this video um, and you're not carrying on your subscription next month, don't worry about it. I'm going to send out a link to everybody um, in the Essentials tier and the Other Things tier. You're all going to get a link sent to you where you can download this um, once your subscription has expired and you no longer have access to the password for my airbridge i'm going to make um, a separate folder and you'll be able to download it for the next 10 days i think it'll be and then that link will automatically expire so i'm going to send every uh, message out a private message out um, in those tiers with a link to download these maps because you have subscribed this month and this was available for this month and it's just that we've released it the, at the very 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 end of the month so you might only find out about it when you wake up and then it's too late so you know as far as i'm concerned you've paid for it you, you know you deserve it and uh, i want you guys to have it so yeah check your patreon links uh, your patreon pms uh, and you will have a link to 
this particular map set. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, well, with the all the things tier, um, and I'll come off this one. Um, I've uh, I decided to add in some extra sounds. I've made a little uh, playlist for the all the things tier. Some of these sounds are relevant to the actual adventure module, but then other stuff is just uh, just some creak, creepy stuff. Oh, it's going through everything, is it? I don't, I don't want it to play the full thing. What do we want? So we've got creaky floorboards. We've got a door shutting in the distance. Classic heartbeat. We've had that before. I don't know why it's going through them all. You might have to change settings on that. Um, what else have we got? I've got a monstrous. Yeah, monstrous scream. Creepy music box. Um. Anyway, I've added some little extras in for you guys uh, in the other things tier that have got Foundry content. Just to add some extra ambiance to your games. Um, wh what else have we got? Um, the poll is still going to run for a little bit longer for what... What... Um, what... Brain freeze. Theme. What theme we do for September. Because August is going to be Domains of Dread. Part two, um, it's going to be the, that's going to be its own self-contained uh, foundry module and web shop bundle. Um, so that's going to be August, but there is a poll up for September, and not that I doubted it for a second, I kind of predicted it uh, between me and Stefan. Um, it's going to be cities and towns, by the looks of it, <laughs> unless there's a massive shift. Uh, cities and towns, cities and towns is going to be. Um, for the September theme, but if you want to change that, then go and vote in the poll. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll be doing some interesting stuff. I'm pretty, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I've wanted to go back to doing the cities and town stuff for a while. Urban exteriors was my second theme ever. Um, back, back in ooh, what June, June last year, I did that. So so over a year ago. So yeah, I think it's a good time to bring back round to it. Um, but next month we're going to be doing some more Domains of Dread. We're going to be doing the Carnival uh, from Van Richten, so the big circus tent. Um, again, some canopy stuff, so you'll be able to go in the tents. Um, we're going to be doing... Uh, I think I'm going to do Icaf, which is like a maze, like a Chinese city. Um, and the city itself, people get lost in the maze, the city keeps moving around and streets change and things like that. So I'm going to do some tiled stuff in Foundry where when your players go around the corner, you know, the DM can rotate the tiles so when they come back, the whole layout has changed or they can delete the tile and put a different one in. Kind of like I did with the Urban Exteriors uh, modular city tiles, we're going to do something similar like that for ICATH for, uh, for the Dreaded Domains, I think. Uh, so we've got a couple of ideas. Me and Stefan are going to bounce some ideas off each other tomorrow and decide uh, where we're heading. Uh, we've also got some other announcements that might end up at the end of this month, might end up at the beginning of next, uh, regarding some new stuff that we are working on. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope um, you like the look of it, even if you're not going to run the official adventure. I think it's a cool haunted house. I think there's lots of um, potential here for making a cool adventure with it depending on whatever you want to do um but let me know let me know your thoughts in uh, in the comments below uh, so thank you guys for watching uh hope you enjoy the map and as ever keep rolling those 20s folks peace